Thank you. You precious few. You got the standing up. All right. All right, we're ready to close out this day in style. This is a man who really needs no introduction. This is William Shatner. We we'll need another round of applause. No, they, we, 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 no, 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 no. You've already applauded. You put your uh, your 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 effort out. Now we just right. now we now we have hushed silence. Hushed silence. Serious conversation only. And you have your colleague Dave here, with whom you're working. He works at a project called Orange Comet. Since you're better at words, I want you to explain what Orange Comet is doing. Well, I'll tell you what I would do. This is Dave Broom, who is the, our leader in Orange Comet. CEO, yep. CEO and founder and, and uh, that's it. Put your money in. Financier? No, 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 no. My Hollywood you got background. Any money in no money in the company. How did you work that? I don't know. You know, we got lucky with that, I guess. We Dave Broom is Orange Comet, and he'll tell you what Orange Comet does. I'll do it very quick, everybody. Um, I'm the CEO of the company. My background is in Hollywood TV and film. Uh, started to produce live shows on network television in the late 90s. Got into a production company in the early 2000s. I created The Biggest Loser, which was a weight loss series. That ran on NBC. I executive produced that. And Sylvester Stallone and I put on Netflix's first unscripted show called Ultimate Beastmaster. And for the last four years, I was just filming Jennifer Lopez, so we made her documentary feature called Halftime. More importantly, I'm going to give it back to Zach, uh, the way we got into Web3, I built a very high-end 3D digital design studio with Dante Ferrarini, who is our chief creative officer at Orange Comet, um, for about 20 years. And our entry into Web3 was how do we bring Hollywood-style production and storytelling into this world and onboard the masses and work with an icon and a legend like William Shatner? Which is very difficult. But, yeah, are you having trouble with the acoustics here? Did you hear every word that Dave said? Yeah? It's hard, it's hard. It's very echoey in here. So, Dave contacted me and said they want to do, uh, Orange Comet wants to do an NFT of me. And I had done an NFT years earlier. And the, the thing I most remember about that NFT was we found a picture of a tooth that was extracted mm. in Montreal. I don't know where the tooth is, and I've just been reading about Buddhist uh, icons, yep. and there's a tooth of Buddha in the United States that's growing. It's true, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for So my tooth isn't growing, but we didn't... <laughs> We did an NFT of some original picture. An NFT of your tooth, right? Uh, uh, one of them. And, and it sold out right away, and it was very successful. We, everybody was happy, and then it went away. But slowly, the world of... of Web3 uh, and blockchain. Uh, Web3, that's a better way. A blockchain uh, inserted itself in my psyche. I began to follow it. Went to Satoshi Round Table uh, a couple of years, three, four years ago to Mexico and learned as much as I could and in the intervening time have forgotten everything. So I know nothing. <laughs> it's true. I know nothing about how to program and what this means and what that means. But what I do understand is emotions and, and, and uh, drama and uh, beautiful things and that kind of uh, area is my expert expertise. So when Orange Comet said to me that we'd like to do an NFT of you and what do you think we should do, they introduced me to the idea that it's doing an NFT can be malleable can be changed, can be, be creative. And so I began to speak about things that I most understand. I've got a book out there now, which is called Boldly Go. And I think among the subjects I tackle is the interconnectedness of us all, of the world, of people, of the universe. So I spoke about that to Orange Comet. And what's the gentleman's name who does the... Uh, Dante. Dante. Our no. chief creative officer. What's Dante's last name? Ferrarini. 
Uh, Ferrarini, he's probably Dante out Ferrarini, here. who uh, does get. He's our chief creative officer. But does he get a lot of uh, praise for what he did? He gets a lot of praise from me. I don't want to give him so much. He'll head will get bit too big. He'll get more expensive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He'll ask for a raise. So, <laughs> we talked about interconnection of the universe of everything in the... Well, in uh, let, let me stop you for a second, because I know Zach wants to... We've got something to play. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, I was just going to say, we could take a look, right? we got a 40-second yeah. clip. Just get Why don't we play for you guys what we're Visually. doing? And then we'll dig into so it. So let us show you yeah. some of the things we, <laughs> we believe are part of the in interconnection. Let's see the video. So, you want me to give a little context to that really quick, Zach? Yeah, I would love that. Bill, yeah. let me just tell everybody what that is. Uh, it's a trailer. When you saw Bill's face up there, everything is done in 3D digital design by Dante, our entire creative team. Those aren't photographs. There's no video in there. It's all sculpted by us. This collection, which, by the way, is going live right now, you can go to WilliamShatnerNFTs.com. We're pre-selling it. But... There are 2,500 unique one-of-ones that are elaborate and intricate 3D NFTs. There's other things that come with it, including a Funko doll that comes from Bill's personal collection that's autographed. More importantly, what we're doing is Bill has taken the, we've taken his inspiration about infinite connections Everything in the world is connected, Zach, and that's what the um, theory is, and that's what we're building this artistic piece off of. Let's let Zach ask a couple of questions, and we'll come back to you, because I think everyone wants to hear well, about I you think, me. Well, I think uh, I, I'm prepared for that, but uh, I emphasize, I, I wish to emphasize, that it's on sale right now. It is on sale now. It, <laughs> it goes on sale. It's on sale right now. It's like a dramatic opening. It's like the curtains coming up. And will this play be successful or not? I was in a play uh, that was supposed to go to New York. I'm in Los Angeles. We're about to do the first preview. The actress and I are standing in front in blackness. And the curtain's going to go up, but we're in front. And she reaches for my hand. And she says, are we in a disaster? And we were. It never went to New York. So <laughs> we're in opening night on the NFTs. Lovely, lovely, Go ahead, Jack. lovely. So I want to zoom out a little bit. And I know you, know you don't have all the answers. None of us do. But you've been in the space for a few years now, right? And you've talked to various people in crypto. And I do really want to get in your words what the value proposition of Web3 is to you and why you're interested in continuing to experiment with these technologies. Well, the world moves on. So, you know, I was in live, I, I was in uh, television when it was live television. You'd be on a stage like this with giant cameras and that image was projected and it was happening now. If you made a mistake, if you went, uh, 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 that uh, 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 was broadcast. Went from there to now and the sophistication of technology today. Technology is evolving at whatever the speed is that somebody says it is. We are in a, a world, uh, in the te technological world, a world of turmoil. Things are happening with AI and CGI that we can't even imagine what's going to come down the pike. Not in 20 years, next year. We have just things are planned that we have no idea how, what, what effect they will have. That's the excitement of today's technology, and that's what I wanted to be part of. And, and I just want to say one thing to give Bill a compliment here. Bill just turned 90. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. 91. Bill just turned no. 91. 92. 92. 92. 
And sorry, but 92. Why, what, what is the but applause? Why, but why do you get applause for 92? <laughs> what is what? What? Well, I mean, it, stand it, up and applaud for 92. <laughs> hey! Now we're talking about 92. All right, but but thank here, you. But, Appreciate that. But here, here's the thing, Zach. It, for all of us in Web3 and blockchain technology, this is a man at 92 who still is inquiring and still has yeah. this amazing ability I'm to learn, to right embrace to technology, that. to take it and understand yeah. it, what it could do. That is truly what makes this guy special That's besides what being makes me a legendary so actor. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, boy, I'm gonna ride this. this <laughs> Can't stage. stop that. Yeah. Can't stop that, Dave. I, I do want to. It's it's true. It's fascinating to anybody who has eyes and ears. This era is the beginning of a ch giant change, and we don't know where it's going. Well answered. Thank you, Dave. I do want to ask you real quick. When you talk to other partners that you're working with, what is the thing that's resonating in why a celebrity? A an iconic actor yeah. should work in these technologies and produce NFTs with your platform. Well, real quick, I mean, we're really a Web3 gaming company, a uh, gaming and entertainment company. That's how we position ourselves. We're working with some of the biggest intellectual property in the world. We'll be making some announcements soon on Web3 games that we've been working on for the last year, like The Walking Dead, but many, many others. Sir Anthony Hopkins, we did the, you know, Anthony Hopkins collection, if any of you have seen that. We get approached all the time because the level of work that we're doing is very high. That was our entry point in. The key really is in anything, you know, when I would create a television show and I would, I would never want to go to an actor or actress and try and force a show down them. You want them to come to you. You want them to be passionate. You want them to have the vision. That's the jumping off point for us in blockchain and Web3. Because what we're interested in doing is taking someone like an iconic legend of William Shatner. 92. 92 William Shatner. And take all of the millions and millions of fans that he has and bring them over into Web3. Let them understand, onboard the masses. That's where this is. Look, everyone in this space right now is great, but we'll die if we don't get the entire general population in, in my opinion. So we want to take Bill, we want to take other properties that we're building, and we want to use those to excite the general audience. And, and one last thing I'll say, and you know, with, with Bill, we're going to be making an announcement sometime in the next few months. It's important for us to tap into a William Shatner's fan base. We're building a game, which I can't announce right now, right there. And so that's the critical part to this. And, and so, Zach, to that, to that point, the, the key is we've all seen celebrity drops that are money grabs. We run from those all day long. Oh, but really? But when you got somebody I, I, like I didn't know that. <laughs> are you, is yours a money grab? <laughs> but, but this guy has been in the blockchain for five years. It's insane. But well before me, by the way, and maybe before some of you. So that, the authenticity to what he's doing and what he's about gives us the reason to want to partner up. So I, uh, I, I agree with everything you just said. It's the romance. It's the future. It's things that are happening to young people that I wanted to be a part of. And, and I can't imagine what the middle aged to older people who come up uh, at, from time to time, what they will say when, they're, when they can see this happening. They'll be introduced to this world that you and I know of, but they don't know. They have no idea of uh, what's taking place. And maybe in some small way, we can introduce this to a larger audience. That's right, that's right. And I know that's what Coindesk's all about as well. Yeah, I want to go back to the space motif and this idea of passion, because I know, you know you've spoken passionately about your love of space. It's been something that's fascinated you for a long time, and it seems as though that really animates what we saw there. That's, that's it. What we're trying to do with those images there is show the connection, mathematical, romantic, stars, 
uh, the, the quantum physics, quantum physics, nature, Earth. Thank you. All of those things, uh, the connection between it all, and we think buried in those images are those philosophies. <clears throat> and, and just to add to that, Zach uh, and Bill, what's amazing is when we first sat down with Bill to say, what do you want to do? What's your vision? Because we'll execute that and build upon that. And, and he started riffing, and I wish we would have actually taped this, uh, a videotaped this, I think we did it over Zoom, in fact. I think it would, have, it would have been amazing because he started going down this road about these infinite connections. We are all connected in so many ways in the universe. The universe is connected. All the things that you may have expect and may have even heard Bill say in, in different ways. And, and that's where the idea came. And that's where we as a company and Dante, our chief creative officer and our uh, creative team, put the pieces together. But it all came from him. And I think if there's anybody out here today who's an artist or a creator, the, the creative integrity is so critical in this space because you, you, you want it to be real and, and inspired by somebody who's got a, a passionate vision. And Bill had that. Yeah, Bill, I want to throw this to you. Um, you know, we've had a lot of conversations actually today about sort of the future of Hollywood enabled by some of these Web3 technologies, right? Gives people ownership over their image and their ideas, like perhaps in a better way than Hollywood has existed in the past. Do you have any thoughts on the future of the entertainment industry or how you'd like to see it change? Well, uh, two days ago, yesterday, I'm in conversations. I have a film that got great notices uh, at South by Southwest here, probably in this very room. Uh, extraordinary uh, reviews for a uh, Call Me Bill documentary. <clears throat> how to promote it? Well, it's going to be possible to project my image to a theater and you won't know whether it's me or, uh, or an image standing on stage. It's my hope that I'll be able to do that in the next short while. <laughs> and, I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you something else to that point, Jack. The entertainment industry, and I've been in it for nearly 30 years as a, as a producer, the, the opportunity for blockchain and Web3, it will reshape and it is reshaping Hollywood. Anyone here who's looking to create and the traditional route, how to go and you have to find an agent. You have to go try and sell to a studio. You have to hope a studio green lights your project. You have to, there's 50 steps that have to happen before you get to put what you've created out in the world. You don't need that on the blockchain. You don't need that in Web3. You don't need that in NFTs. That's the exciting part of what it could all do. The power is in everyone's hands here. Bill, I'm going to ask you to put sort of your, your Captain Kirk outfit on, right? Many people know and idolize you as Captain Kirk. Do you think Captain Kirk would be into crypto? Would he be <laughs> a crypto investor? I love that question. Uh, well, uh, Star Trek took place, what, in 2400? Uh, 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 so it's a couple hundred years from now. Where will crypto be in, uh, in a couple hundred years? Way so high, it'll be, it'll be so many thousands of dollars in value, the crypto coins, that I would think that people today who are going to live two, three hundred years would buy crypto now at its price. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting more and more expensive before it explodes <laughs> in 200 years to buy it now. I, we don't know. We don't know whether crypto is going to go back down and go back up. Uh, you know, the doomsayers, you read these people who make a living on talking about doomsday uh, scenarios, the, 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 the monetary... That we're all collapse. The monitor is going to collapse this year. Between now and, and Christmas, uh, the, the, uh, the dollar is going to d uh, descend. There's so many doomsayers out there announcing their projects. What I think, America has always been, has always evolved. I was in Canada when all the McCarthy things happened. I was around the Nixon thing. 
I'm around. America is always fulminating difference of opinion, and eventually what arises is, is the greatness that is America. And I think that's what's going to happen to uh, the economy and crypto. Whatever it's supposed to do, it will do, but it'll do it in America. So you, sa you sound pretty plugged in to some, some themes on crypto Twitter that we've seen from uh, hyperinflation and Bitcoin at, at a million. Uh, I'm asking you to maybe put your, your, your Bill suit back on as opposed to your Captain Kirk suit. Are you an investor in cryptocurrencies? Do you have a favorite cryptocurrency out there and any projects that you're watching? No, I never did. Uh, I was around with people who knew when it was $18, but it, it, you know, to the uninitiated, to everybody, including uh, Satoshi, probably, uh, it, it's, uh, what, you know, what is that? Does it have any value? Does, is it backed by gold? Is it backed by a government? What is it? It's nothing. But it's valuable. It's what you think it is. Well, how, how advanced is that idea? It is what you think it is. And if enough people think it's something, then it is. What a novel concept. It isn't concrete. Those derricks that are out front building uh, this uh, town of the city of Austin, that's concrete. This is hovering in the Web3 like a cloud of smoke. <laughs> what will happen to that cloud of smoke? Will it become something solid? I don't know. No, I have no cryptocurrency in my, uh, in my bag of tricks. Has Web3 adoption in Hollywood seen like a significant takeoff? You're probably having these conversations all the day, right? Like, oh my gosh. You have them all, the, all day, Yeah, right? Yeah, look, what, here's the exciting thing. You know, our partnerships are with all the studios in town. Uh, and, and what you guys will hear from us soon are the biggest entertainment properties in the world. You can imagine what those are. We started with The Walking Dead, uh, but there'll be about four or five new announcements. The biggest franchises you've ever heard of that you probably have gone to the movies and seen or watched on TV. That's the exciting part of what's going on because Hollywood understands for sure that this is an opportunity, an opportunity to engage fans in a brand new way. The Web3 games that we're building, they're not just games that live on the blockchain because you can go make money on them which is fine, this, the owner, digital ownership is, is a great starting point, Zach, but what we're developing are games that actually take advantage of the blockchain technology itself and incorporate that technology into the gameplay. But, so, you know, so go ahead, Bill. Uh, I was just gonna say, and then the evolution of these games, what we're starting to use is AI. That's right. Yeah. We're introducing the new technology to take uh, part in the evolution of games. What, what will come of that? So the, the cool thing is that whether it's, you know, AI is a whole nother world we can talk about, of course, but if you, if you think, and this is the exciting part for all of us in this space, entertainment and gaming are two, and maybe fashion would be the three in my opinion, but entertainment, gaming, and fashion are the three stalwarts that get the mass audience is exposed into anything. And when you see games, and there's some great Web3 game companies out other, obviously, that are doing some amazing work, and when you see Hollywood starting to pay attention with their big property saying, how do we expose these, this IP to a brand new uh, a technology to, to an audience that's already existing, that tells you that that the future of Web3, the future of crypto, the future of blockchain technology is so, so strong. And that's the exciting part. All right, Bill, I'm gonna kick this question to you. You've inspired, I mean, you've been thinking about the future for a long time. You've inspired a lot of people. Yeah, ever since 91. Big time, <laughs> big time, right? You've inspired a lot of people to think creatively. The idea was, will there be a 92? You made it. And now I'm wondering, will there be a 93? <laughs> yes, there will. I think odds are looking pretty good. My question to you is, like, what's the final frontier of finance, right? 
What's the final frontier of finance? Yeah, what's the final frontier of finance? You think creatively about the future. What Buy land. Is there, some, is there some better state that we're advancing to? Invest in, in Austin. It's going up around us. <laughs> <laughs> Take all your money and buy property in Austin. <laughs> okay. All right. You heard it here. Austin. Austin. You heard it from me. <laughs> no, for real though. I'm curious about your thoughts. If there's a financial system that nobody you'd like knows. To... You see, what's it, it's it's a it's a fuzzy screen that we're looking at. No, it's we're in transition. How long that? Maybe will the transition will last forever. Because it's all it, because the things are evolving faster and faster, but no, we don't know what's going to happen. Just the exhibition of films, the exhibition of films has changed completely from giant screens to home. The the all the places you can find entertainment are so numerous. It's the last last five years. The next five years is going to be even more uh, 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 facile. So it's when you ask the question, what is it going to be? Nobody knows, but it's going to be magic. Right. But one, th one thing, Zach, and you know, to your point on this, and maybe this is an interesting question to you, did anyone think that crypto would be so tied to the macroeconomics of, of the world? So if the economy is tanking, why is crypto going down? When the banks obviously start to collapse, crypto goes up. So there's, there is, I think, more of a direct correlation to macroeconomics and global macroeconomics than maybe anyone either expected or maybe they did expect it and it was just a surprise to me. All right, I gotta give Bill the last word. Looking forward, after this NFT project, what do you wanna do next? Is me? there an NFT project or crypto experiment that you wanna, that you wanna undertake? I've got all kinds of things going. Uh, I've got another documentary. I've got uh, a, a tour happening. I may come back to Austin. I was here a few a few weeks ago on tour. Uh, I, I, there's so many things I'm involved in that is futuristic, that that make me want to uh, get up in the morning and and uh, try and think of something creative to add to what's happening uh, on the teams that I work with. Uh, I am filled with the, with the energy of uh, what's trembling on the future. Well, that is a lovely sentiment to close this conversation on. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Dave. Thank Let's you, have everybody. Round of applause. Appreciate and it. William Thank Shatner, you. everyone. William Shatner. Thank you. I got it. I got it.